What's going on guys, it's Patrick here, coming at you with a different sort of style video today, and now two things. Number one, this video is going to be kind of a joke, making fun of myself again. Uh, and the other thing is this is a sporting related injury. I promise you I did not get into a fight, I got an elbow to the face, kind of painful, uh, it looks pretty bad, it's okay, I just want to make sure you guys get it in your heads, I didn't get in a fight. But anyways, today I'm coming at you with a video on how to be a sellout. I always get a lot of people going, hey, Patrick, I think you make cool videos, I like what you do, I want to be just like you. But the problem is, I don't know how to be a sellout. So in this video, I'm going to be doing exactly that, going through the steps that will take you guys to the point where you yourself can actually become a sellout. Now, of course, this video is brought to you by G Fuel. You can use coupon code SMITH at GFUEL.com for 10% off your next purchase. But anyways... Let's get into it. Now I'm going to break this down into steps. There's a lot of different parts that kind of make up the whole process of doing this. So let's start off with step number one. The first step in your goal towards becoming a sellout is starting a YouTube channel. That is the number one most important thing that you're going to have to do to reach your dreams. So of course, there's lots of platforms all over the internet. You got Twitter, Vine, Instagram. But realistically, let's be honest, YouTube is the most monetizable, you're going to make the most amount of money there, so that's where you're going to want to go. You're going to want to start a YouTube channel, come up with a name that is really, I mean, a name, it doesn't really matter, it doesn't have to be uh, interesting, it could just be like your last name or something like that. It really doesn't have to be all that fancy, but just come up with any sort of name that is easy to spell. Now that you've got a YouTube channel, you've got to start growing your audience, which means you need to start making videos. Now, if you're watching this video, you're probably going to be interested in the gaming community, which is perfect, because guess what? That's where you're going to be making the most amount of money. Now, a question I get quite often is, Patrick, what kind of videos should I make? And realistically, I would say it doesn't matter. I've been playing the same game for three years now, and people still watch it. People still play it. I don't know. So I would say, honestly, just do whatever you want and just throw a whole bunch of random crap in it to make it seem new. Like really dumb challenges that just make absolutely no sense. You know, involve the Illuminati. Whole bunch of dumb stuff that people are interested in. They're like, what the heck is this? And then it's just the dumbest thing ever. So realistically, it doesn't matter what kind of videos you make. You just got to be consistent with it. You just be consistent. All right. So you've got the YouTube channel. You've got the audience. What is next? You're going to need a look, okay? You got to look professional. If you want companies to reach out to you, to sponsor you, give you money for your word that you think their product is good, you're going to need to have a good look. And this, this is not it. No, you cannot be doing this. First problem, look at the shirt I'm wearing. Enjoy? Enjoy? Enjoy is not paying me to wear this shirt. Why would I ever wear a shirt that a company is not paying me to wear? Fuck enjoy. You're going to want to start your own t-shirt line. If you're wearing a shirt that says your own channel, obviously you're a big deal. But you can't stop there. A shirt is not good enough. It's not going to be enough of a look that you're going to need to reach out to companies. So what else are you going to want? Well, you are going to want a nice freaking just very outrageous pair of sunglasses. I don't know if you've noticed, but all the most successful YouTubers wear sunglasses. Philip DeFranco, Syndicate, both wear sunglasses. I don't think it's a coincidence that they're both really successful and really awesome. So, all right, you've got a nice t-shirt. People can recognize your brand. You've got sunglasses. You know you're looking legit, but you're not quite there. Last thing you need, you got to gel the hair, bro. Boom. Now we got the look that we need to get all those awesome companies. But we're not done yet, okay? No, there's one more piece of the puzzle that we're going to need. We've got a YouTube channel. We've got an audience. We've got the look. We need a Twitter account. Now, yeah, having a Twitter account is important for stuff like social media marketing and getting your content out there and all those things. But more importantly, you need to have a voice. You need to have a place where you can just go and tweet the most garbage, stupid shit ever. Twitter is basically going to be your outlet for stupidity. Here's a prime example of what I'm talking about. The other day I tweeted. So the real question is, who will be the first person gutty enough to do the rainbow Snapchat thing and put it on their butt instead of their mouth? What? <laughs> what does that have to do with anything? I don't know, but it's funny. All right, so that's pretty much it. You've got the channel, you've got the audience, you get the look, you've got the stupid Twitter account. 
All that's left is to find the company that you want to sponsor with. Now, this is actually going to be surprisingly more hard as it seems. You're going to want to go reaching out to basically every major YouTube gaming company ever. So if you've seen them sponsor any YouTuber in the gaming industry that you know, you're going to hit them up. Elgato, G Fuel, Control Freak. Uh, I don't know. If they do anything to do with gaming, hit them up. You're then going to realize that they are not ever going to respond to you. So you need to take matters into your own hands and contact them in a better way. What you're going to want to do is use one of their products in your video and mention to your fans that, hey, I really love this product. You guys should all go tell them to sponsor me. That's how you're going to get the sponsorship deal. So assuming that you finally get sponsored by a company, now it's time to begin the actual solo process. Product placement. Product placement everywheres on your shoulder, just, just everywheres you need product placement. Realistically, and more importantly, what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to contact that company and tell them, Hey guys, I need some merch. I got to swag out with your stuff. Boom. Boom. I don't even wear hats, but do I care? No. Cause guess what? I'm the one making money. You got everything. I don't need to go over it again. You've got the look, you've got everything. You're golden, you're good to go. Now all that's left to do is just promote the crap out of it. Just just live whatever it is you're trying to promote. If it's G Fuel, coupon code SMITH. Every single mention you get, you just gotta do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, and just push it as much as you can. Don't care about your subscribers. Don't care about anyone, what anybody thinks. All you're doing is just trying to make as much money as you can. Anyways, guys, that's all I got for you today. I'm, I'm taking this off. I, I don't even... <laughs> I have had so many people ask me to do a video like this. So there you go. That was actually a lot of fun. It was fun to kind of make fun of myself and just the whole YouTuber make a buddy thing and all that good stuff. <laughs> I will say a piece of advice for any YouTuber out there that's actually looking to become profitable, not sell out, but become profitable with their channel so that they can support themselves through YouTube is believe in the company that you're selling. Like find a company that you really, really truthfully like. Like I've been using Gamma Labs two years before I started being sponsored with them. Control Freak I've been using since Modern Warfare 2. So find things that you truly, truly like and use and actually promote that because you're going to feel a lot better about it. You're actually giving your audience something that they can use and you're just not really being a sellout because the point of being a sellout is selling is, is promoting something that you don't believe in. And obviously I love G Fuel. So that's all I have for you guys today. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to leave a like, that'd be cool. I will see you tomorrow with some Road to Black Ops 3 with the man himself. Secret, but it's Shangri-La. We'll see who it is tomorrow. Anyways, thanks for watching guys. Peace.